because you're off to see the wizard. Welcome to the March Fat Fiber Sampler Box preview video. Our theme this month is The Wizard of Oz. So this month we had a lot of fun debuting our new Fat Fiber collaboration boxes. We intend to release these quarterly and our next one will be in May. We'll do fiber and yarn again and our themes will be Campfire and Red Nebula. So I would love for you to join us for that as well. Let's head over the rainbow and see what The Wizard of Oz box has in store for us. This month, Kitty Minecraft sent in this beautiful bat that she calls Twister in the Emerald City. And she's got grays and lighter and darker, more emerald greens. Some sparkle in there. This is merino wool, some carbonized bamboo, and Angelina. I also sent this beautiful yarn that she calls Emerald City. And this is Superwash Merino Nylon and Stellina. It's a fingering weight yarn, and you can see the little bit of sparkle in there. And this has varying greens and just one little bit of light gray in here. It's such a beautiful combination. There's gold stuff going through there. Through all the greens. Jill at Hip Strings sent us these beautiful custom blended fibers. And there's a dark black several different greens in here and it's super soft this is um, a 23 micron merino it has bamboo in it tussa silk and mulberry silk so all that silk and that super fine merino really make for a, a soft and fluffy fiber and this is going to be really easy to draft I can tell that it's not compacted at all that's a pretty green if not a little Diabolical. The Woolly Lion sent us several different um, Rolags this month. The one that I chose to show you is a rainbow that is alpaca and merino. It's super soft and I just always want to start drafting these out to spin them right away because I just love working with Rolags. You can see the beautiful Subtle color. You could do that thing with it. Fellview fibers. They're from somewhere else, right? Oh, everyone's from somewhere else. Because otherwise you'd all be here. And it would be crowded, but fun. Fellview fibers decided to focus on the color in Toto's coat. And she used soft merino in shades of russet and chocolate, naturally colored baby alpaca in gray and brown, and then there's just a bit of black bamboo in there. And it is super, super soft. That's a very Toto color. I totally like it. <laughs> Designs by Tammy sent us some of her custom photo stitch markers with Dorothy and all th every, all the whole gang there. I think they're so cute. And in the box, in the regular boxes, she also sent some little ones with this image. And she can do um, custom stitch markers for you with any photos that you want on them. Designs by Tammy, I went to see because they're always cool and pretty. Stitch markers. Shades of Light sent us this beautiful yarn colorway. Um, she called this Jacaranda, and it's merino and nylon, and it's in sock weight. And she said that the Wizard of Oz didn't inspire her, but she thought about the land of Oz, as in Australia, and she wanted to, and the colors there inspired her quite a lot. You can see there's some nice lavender and darker purples and different greens and, and a a brown, an ochre kind of brown that goes through there. Fiber Quirks! Pink! Fiber Quirk sent us these fluffy bats. Um, these are Marina, Merino, Tussa Silk, Firestar, and Crystallina. And she titled these Glinda. And I absolutely just love all the different ways that are 
contributors have gone with this theme. It's been really fun. This is such a fun, pretty bad. I think this would be great to spin up. So fluffy and soft. Claire, at the Hippie Homemaker, decided to do BFL this time, and she did it in a colorway called Wicked. You can see the dark purple and the green in there. There's a little bit of lighter colors in here as well. I think this would be really fun to spin up. And she also included a coupon code for us for free shipping, so when you find that you love this and you want to get more, you can get it with free shipping. Wicked good! Breeze and Stitchery sent us this beautiful sock yarn that has blues and purples in it, and she titled it Dr. Donna. It's got Superwash Merino, 10% cashmere, and nylon. It's a four ply sock weight. Just love the colors that she chose for this. I think it'd be really fun to knit with. It's got that Southwest Merino. Super wash. I learned. Queen Conk Designs sent us in some of her rare breed fiber this time. And she included a little Toto stitch marker for us. And this is um, Tyrolean Bergschaf, which is Tyrolean Mountain Sheep. And it's, it's rustic, but it's still next to the skin soft. I think this would be really fun to, um, to spin up. It's got a nice staple length. And I love seeing her different rare breeds that she sends in to us. It's really fun to experience these fibers. Toto! He's keeping an eye on the sheep. He's not really a sheep dog, but he's a dog that apparently likes sheep. Tyrolean Bergshaft. Alice at Handmade Hollows sent us these beautiful pink and green roll eggs. And they're so soft and they've got so many fibers in them. They've got alpaca, merino, mohair, silk threads, angelina, firestar, soft silk, and angora. There's all kinds of fun fibers in here. And she titled these Conversation Hearts. So if you wanted to find more of these in her shop, that's the, the title you'd look for. But they're super fluffy and soft and really fun with all the different fibers that she has in there. Gail at Plum Crazy Fiber Art sent us a really fun little kit for our Fat Fiber Boxes this month. She has art felt paper and an, a felting needle. And you can use your samples out of the box or any wool that you have to follow this little kit instructions here to use this art felt paper to make a mini clutch. I thought that was really fun, and especially with our, our boxes having so many different kinds of fiber in them, I think it would be really beautiful to make the clutch with the fiber you get in the box. That is a wicked looking thing. Jenny's Yarn and Jewelry sent us in two different colorways this month, and this one she titled Yellow Brick Road, and this one I want to be a rainbow. And they're so beautiful. And I'll see if I can get a little closer so you can see the lovely dye job that she did here. Look at those colors. And the yellow is varied as well. There's lighter and darker yellows. There's a little bit of green in here almost. And they're both sock weight. Such a pretty choice. It's very jewel toned, shiny and bright. I was so excited that Laura and Steph, they brought their samples out to the studio this week. And I was so happy to see them and it was really fun to share the studio with them. And um, I'm excited that they live close enough that we can get together now and then. Her bat this month is so gorgeous and varied as always. She titled this Wicked as well. There's a dark purple and this, I love this green. I just want to roll in these locks. 
She's got merino, Cory cross, lamb's locks, mohair locks, Tessa silk, Firestar, Angelina, and some star bright in there. So all kinds of wonderful sparkle that light up this bat. Andrea and Blue sent in these beautiful little zippered pouches that have a nice little emerald green bead on the edge. And these are in a, a yellow brick road kind of style fabric. And um, they're such a fun shape. And there's some candy in there. But I love how she did these. They zipper from corner to corner. And these would be perfect to carry all your stitch markers. And out. you can see that she's got a fun polka dot pattern on the inside. I think having a bunch of these would be fun because you could have all your different stuff. Lutherian Fiber Art sent us these beautiful bats that she titled Ruby Slippers. And they have Corydale, Firestar, and Angelina, and they're super fluffy. I'm really excited that she chose to go with the Ruby Slipper theme because I was hoping somebody would like that or choose that. Let's get up close and see some of that amazing sparkle. Love this. Absolutely beautiful choices here. Color, ruby slippers. You could yarn bomb your shoes with this. Narwhal Knits sent us this beautiful little skein. And this is also called, um, this is also called Glinda. And she did it on her watercolor shimmer base, which is Superwash Merino, Nylon, and Stellina. And this is a two-ply sock weight yarn. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in there, but there's um, nice light pinks all the way into creams and almost a, an orange yellow in there. Let's see how close we can get without blurring. Just love the sparkle in there. I think it'd be so fun to knit. Glinda the Good Witch. Dawn Snow with Bristle Ridge Alpacas and Comfed Out Kaiser sent us these beautiful bats that she calls Lily Pond. They have super soft um, Angora, Silk, Alpaca Surrey, and Alpaca Hukaya. And they're just so beautiful. I love the way these look. And so soft. And such a fun combination that she chose. Ball. Mashes up together. That's a pretty yellow. Monica at Gloria, pa Gloria Patre sent us these really fun, large stitch markers with green, emerald green beads on them. And they're good for your larger needles, and I think that's kind of fun because we often get some of the, the smaller stitch markers, so my finger kind of fits right in these. They're, um, I would guess, at least a, a size... 11 to 13 needle can work with these stitch markers and she always includes a nice little chocolate which Denny will try to steal. Why do I always remember the yellow brick road and the ruby slippers and the green on the witch? And somewhere over the rainbow. And somewhere over the rainbow. But I don't think of the Emerald City. I think because we could never afford good rocks. Susan at With Pointed Sticks sent us this beautiful sock weight yarn and she titled this Are You a Good Witch or a Bad Witch? And it has nice pinks and white and beautiful green colors in here all together. It's a beautiful combination. This is on her glitter gel pin fingering weight yarn. So if you're looking for um, the same yarn in her shop, you would look for the fingering weight. Yarn. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Because it's got both colors. I think you're all good witches. Heather, winemaker sister, sent us these beautiful little stitch markers. And these are probably on a medium ring. And they've got our little ruby slippers. 
those are really cute and fun. <sighs> and it makes a good sound too. Sunrise Fiber Company sent us several different colors this time, including a hydrangea and um, another one. And then this one that she calls Twinkle. And it is on a superwash merino, 100% superwash merino. It's a rich, really bright, rich pink, all the way down to a soft, delicate pink, and then a nice stripe of rich orange color in there. Wool and two sticks, because that's what you use, unless you use three sticks or four sticks. But then there are those little tiny sticks, and they all go in a round thing, and I don't know how you do it without poking yourself. Katie from Wool and Two Sticks sent us several different um, colorways this month, and I chose to highlight this one. This is Ruby Slippers to the Tin Man's Heart. I thought they were really beautiful. Um, her shop specializes in doing mini skeins and we didn't know if her samples would make it this month because they left Arizona and they decided to take a trip out to Rhode Island before coming back to Colorado so I'm really happy that they made it to the box and that um, they made it into the video for us. Willow Fairy Wool sent us a couple of different kinds of samples. First I wanted to show you the silk cocoon she sent. My hands are sticky, so silk always likes to stick to sticky fingers. Um, but these would be great for um, using for an art yarn. They will they will draft out into um, spinnable fiber. Um, I'm using silk cocoons on a project for um, for my niece and I'm using them to wrap around LED lights so that she can have some fun little silk cocoon Christmas lights in her room. The other one that she sent us, this is a Polworth and Silk, and I just love the colors in there. And she called both of these colorways Wonderful Land of Oz. I just think this would be so super soft and fluffy to spin up. Silk cocoons. And you can turn them into butterflies. Gary Lynn. Rubies and poppies and slippers. Oh my! Gary Lynn sent us a sample that she called Rubies and Poppies and Slippers. Oh my! And this one uses size 10 needles. And she says you can use waste yarn and worsted weight. There's a couple more pictures on the back. I just thought those are adorable. I think I can make those for a... You can make these for a Christmas gift or... A birthday gift in the winter time. My feet have been especially cold this winter. Then there's all this row stuff with K's and I don't understand a word of this, but she does. Needle Fingers sent us these beautiful little cakes that have a complete rainbow in each cake. And she called these Somewhere. And they've got such pretty colors there. Let me see if I can get real close there. And these are six ply heavy lace or light fingering weight and they're super wash merino. That's nice. Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Is Harry. So are you. Oh, yeah. will go on sale and you'll be off and we're off to see the wizard the wonderful wizard of oz they say he is the wizard of oz if ever a wizard there was if ever if ever a wizard there was the wizard of oz is one because 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 of the wonderful things he does